Hello guys, welcome to your Friday tutorial for reading for year five and six. We are looking at praising today. Praising is the official grammatical terminology for summarizing. And for our summarizing, I'm going to be using chapter three of the Nowhere Emporium. The video for this will be available to all of you at the same time that the tutorial comes out. So if you want to use chapter three of Nowhere Emporium, you can as well. As you can see, it's only a short chapter, only really one and a half to about three and a bit pages really. So not too long at all. If you do want to do that, I would recommend stopping this video now and going and watching um, the read through of chapter three, if you haven't already. Um, and then you can come back to this tutorial. If you've already done that, or if you are doing what we've recommended you do, which is using a book of your own from home, then you can watch this tutorial straight away. So I actually don't need my copy of the text today because when we're doing a summary, really doing what you remember is one of the best ways. Because if you keep going back and looking at your text and going back and flicking onto it and reading it over again and keep going back to it, reading over it again. What you'll find is you end up writing in far too much detail, which isn't the point of a summary. The point of a summary, the point of pre-seeing is to get down only the key information. So what I do when I'm pre-seeing, when I'm writing a summary, I start by quite simply writing down key words that I remember. Now, one of the key words from chapter three, and it helps me because it is actually the title is the word ambush, because um, Daniel is ambushed by Spud and his gang. So ambush is a key word. Grabbed, I'm going to put, because Daniel is grabbed by, sweet, uh, by Spud and his gang. Another word I'm going to put, that I think was a key word there, was fire alarm. I'm going to hyphenate fire alarm, slightly cheating, but I think if you hyphenate a word, we can officially say that that's one word. Um, so I'm going to hyphenate that word. Ambush, grabbed, fire alarm. Um, I'm going to put road. I'm going to put car. I'm going to put crash. Slash accident. Just because I don't know which one I'm going to go for yet. Um, I'm going to put saved. I'm going to put lucky. What else am I going to put? I'm going to put silver. And to be honest, I think that's enough for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to start writing down a sentence to try and summarize, to try and pray see what happens in that chapter. So Daniel is ambushed by Spud, and remember, Spud, as much as it's a ridiculous name and it is a nickname, it is his name. So it does need that capital S to show that it's a proper noun. Daniel is ambushed by Spud and his gang. During the fire alarm. I'm going to hyphenate that. Oh dear, Mr. Hall, rubbish. Rubbish writing. He escapes and runs out the back door. Onto a road. Nearly getting hit by a car, was knocked over by something, because we don't know what he was knocked over by, but something knocks him over, and then in brackets, maybe the silver thing he saw. A strange 
figure tries to talk to him. Okay. I mean, that is a lot shorter than the chapter, that's for sure. I still wouldn't say it's short enough to have been a successful prey seeing, though. I've actually ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm, I'll give myself that as one word, because it's the that's the hyphenated word. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 words. I can do better than that. So, I now need to go through and think what I don't need. Daniel is ambushed by Spud and his gang during the fire alarm. Um, I don't necessarily need to know it was Spud's whole gang to understand the chapter. He escapes and runs out the back door onto the road, nearly getting hit by a car. I probably don't need to know that he ran out the back door, to be honest. I can understand what happens in the chapter without knowing exactly where. I don't need that prepositional phrase. Um, that's nice, but it's not crucial. And for a pricey, we only want the crucial information. Was knocked over by something, maybe the silver thing he saw. Hmm... Probably just need to say he was knocked over. Um, and I probably don't need to describe the figure as strange either. That's sort of making it a noun phrase. Don't need to be doing noun phrases and stuff. So I'm going to try and really shorten this down now. So, Daniel is ambushed. By Spud. Escapes onto road. And nearly hit, oops, missing the eye, hit by a car. Mm. Knocked away rather than over because that tells me that he missed the car knocked away and stood over by figure okay let's see how much i've knocked that down by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one Pretty good. I've already knocked 26 words off there. I've more than halved the overall length. I can do better, though. I can still do better. That's the key thing with these pieces of praising. Keep trying to do better until you think you've got it down to the very least you can get it down to and still get across what happens in that chapter. So I'm going to start getting rid of what's referred to as sort of unnecessary or superfluous words. So they're words that if we were writing in lovely full sentences and writing our story, we would need them. They're important. But when we're just summarizing, we don't have to write in full sentences. We can be really short and really concise. So I don't need Daniel is ambushed by Spud. I just need Daniel ambushed by Spud. And yes, that's only saved me one word, but it is still one word. Daniel ambushed by Spud. Full stop. Four words so far. I've then got escapes onto road and nearly hit by car. I'm going to just put escapes onto roads. So that's three words. Dash, almost, ran, over. So that was 
Originally that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. That next bit, I've got that down to one, two, three, four, five, six. I've shaved another three words there. Daniel ambushed by Spud. Escapes onto road, almost ran over. Knocked aside. Man looms over. Okay, I've got it down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I've got that down to fifteen words. And I'm quite happy with that. I think if I started taking out loads more, it would start just becoming one word lists. We'd be back to this sort of thing and taking out words. I think that makes sense. I think I could say that to someone who hadn't heard the chapter and they'd have a rough idea of what actually goes on in that chapter. 15's not bad. So my challenge to you is to do that exact same task with a book of your choosing, or if you're doing it with the Nowhere Emporium, my challenge to you is to try and beat 15 words. Um, if you're doing it with your own book, I'd still love you to send me your Preseed chapters. What I'll do, if you send me your Preseed chapters, I'll tell you whether I think I've got a good idea about what happens in your chapter. It would be a really good way of me seeing whether you've been successful, because I won't have read your books in all likelihood. If you've preceded it well enough, though, I'll have a good idea what has happened in those bits. So, thank you very much for watching. This is your Friday reading tutorial, and you'll be getting another one on Monday. Remember, do send me your work. I'd love to see them. That can be pictures, that can be scans, that can just be typed up versions, but I would love to see them. Anytime I do get them, I am going to be adding you track it like points for ready when we're back at school. So do keep sending them. For now though, goodbye.